So I kind of have this obsession with making very large bracelets. We like to call them wall hangings over here or tapestries, but I can't seem to stop making them and I really do enjoy making them because they just look so cool, okay? So today I'm gonna add one more tapestry to my collection and I wanna bring you guys along with me while I make it. Welcome to Not With Me episode four on my channel. Today it is women's rights edition. I'm gonna be making a feminist slash like women's rights inspired wall hanging. So if you wanna see the process of me making it, go ahead and just keep on watching. Alrighty you guys, so this is the pattern that we are going to be making in this Not With Me. This is pattern number 84024. It will be linked down below if you guys are interested. But yeah, it's just this giant pattern and it just says we deserve rights with some you know cute girlies down here with their hands up and stuff how cute is this I just thought this was a really cute pattern initially I wanted to do this pattern which is Mabel from Gravity Falls this has been on my to-do list for a little bit and I really wanted to make it but I don't really have like the right colors like for her hair and like all these leaves or just kind of specific colors so I think I will do this one eventually but I just don't really have the right colors to do this yet so I just kind of went on bracelet book and was looking up some patterns and this was like one of the first ones that I saw and I was like immediately yes. I am doing this pattern so let's go ahead and get started so in the background they have this really pretty light teal color I wanted to do something similar because I think it's really pretty but I'm gonna be using this kind of like more darker blue they're just kind of more like a teal color but this one is kind of more like a grayish blue and then down here we have um, three girls so we have like a darker complexion a more lighter and like a more medium complexion and and these are my three skin tone shades these ones look really similar on camera but I promise they're different this one's also a bit more warmer tone and also darker so these are my three shades I don't have a ton of different like kind of tan or brown shades so this was kind of like the best I could really come up with for the different shades and then these two girls have the same hair color so I'm gonna just be using this like dark brown as both of their hair colors and then they all have like different shades of purple for their like little sweaters i like the purples a lot but i'm gonna go ahead and do my own colors so this is kind of a more like bluey grayish purple it looks a lot more brighter on camera and then this is a nice muted kind of pinky coral and then this is a nice pretty light lavender color i thought these all complemented the background color really well so that's kind of also why i went with them and then the words, um, it looks like the words are just like a lighter shade of the background color, but I don't really have like access to colors like that or I don't know. I think it's nice, but I feel like it kind of blends in. So I'm going to go ahead and just use white for the lettering just because I think it'll stand out a lot better against the background color. So yeah, this is going to be a wall hanging. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on a wooden dowel. These are the dowels I use. I get these at Michael's. I'm going to go ahead and just tape this down and get my base strings cut and then go ahead and attach my base strings. All right. So this pattern is 58 rows wide. So I need to cut 29 strings because that will be folded in half to make 58 strings. And I'm going to be using this wooden dowel. So I'm going to go ahead and do like a small tutorial on basically just how I start my wall hangings. I've already showed how to do this in my video on how to make um, alpha patterns on a key ring. So if you are also interested in like a more in-depth tutorial, you can go ahead and check that out. I'm going to link it in the cards right here for you guys. But I'm going to take a piece of my duct tape and I'm going to place it basically. So when I make a wall hanging, I like to leave like an inch or so of space um, on to the edge. And then I like the strings to start from here. So I'm basically going to just use my tape to mark where I want, like how much space I want basically. So I'm just going to mark that off. And then from here, I'm going to start adding my strings. This process takes forever because <laughs> I have to do it one by one, but I'm gonna take my one of my base strings. I'm gonna go ahead and fold it in half. So fold it in half like this. One end has the raw edges and then one end is a little loop. Holding the side with the loop, I'm gonna go ahead and slide this underneath the wooden dowel. And with the loop on the bottom, I'm gonna take the raw edges on the top and basically just feed it through the loop and pull it through and kind of push it to the side 
just like that and it creates this little knot this is called a lark's head knot you can google images of this there's like tons of tutorials on how to do this but if you don't know now you do and if you already knew i apologize for showing it but i'm gonna go ahead and sit here and one by one add all of these strings All right, so now that that process is finally over, I have all my base strings set up. I'm gonna go ahead and attach my background color. So I'm gonna just go ahead and scoot over this tape. Actually, I might just move it completely to the other side, to be honest. And I have this whole bundle of thread. This is my background string. So I'm pretty much gonna do the same process, but um, the pattern is only 58 rows and this is 58 strings. So I'm gonna just leave a little tail. So I'm gonna basically fold it over, just leave a little bit of a tail, leave this loop here, and I'm gonna do the same thing, put it underneath, and then I'm gonna take this entire bundle and put it through this little loop. It's kind of interesting, but. There you go. So now the background string is attached and it basically just has this little tail. So I'll basically just group this tail with um, another base string and just go over both of these with my background color and then basically just stitch this tail back into the bracelet and then eventually I will just cut off the excess. So yeah, from here, I'm gonna go ahead and just start this uh, wall hanging now. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the time lapse what is up you guys it's future me and we are doing the voiceover for the time lapse y'all are stuck with me for a little bit okay and usually when i have to do these voiceovers i'll usually have you guys ask me questions to answer in them or whatever because i usually never know what to talk about but i thought since the subject matter of this wall hanging is a little little controversial okay <laughs> I thought I would kind of just talk about why I decided to actually make this tapestry. Growing up, I was never very into politics and I really hated talking about it. I just didn't see a point in discussing things like this with people because I just feel like we all have our own opinions about stuff and like what is talking about it going to do? Like you're already set in your mindset. So what is me like? arguing with you over gonna do like it's not gonna change your mind so why do we even talk about it but i feel like as i'm getting older now a lot of these laws that are you know being put in place are actually starting to like really affect me as a contributing member of our society and it's kind of it's it's a big deal it really is a big deal and you know i just have this platform and i just kind of want to use it to like spread these positive messages and kind of advocate for groups that don't really get advocated for you know what i'm saying y'all know those tiktokers it's like something menaces but it's like that that club at like byu that goes around and they like ask students questions and stuff and i just remember watching one of their videos and they were asking people if they thought they had white privilege and to name an, a time where they experienced their white privilege and I thought about that for a second and I mean first of all a hundred percent every single white person has white privilege that's just a fact and I was sitting there and like I was trying to think about like when is a time that I've experienced my privilege and I I genuinely could not think of a time and I think that that's kind of the point the fact that I have never even had to be, be in a situation where I've like had to worry about the color of my skin is like literally the the whole point of it i i guess and i was kind of just like damn like that's that's crazy and it just it really made me realize like girl you have this privilege because of your skin color whether you want it or not like this is just the way that the world works and it's stupid and it makes no sense and like nobody should be treated differently based off of the color of their skin because that's just 
stupid. But unfortunately, that is just the way that this society and this country works. And it makes no sense. But that's just how it is. So I'm at this point now where I'm like, you need to like recognize your privilege and use that privilege to speak for people that just can't speak, basically. Also, I was looking at the comments under this pattern and, you know, a lot of it was very positive and in support of this pattern. But, you know, there's those people that, you know, just misogynists, I guess. And the general kind of consensus was like, what rights do women not have? Like, what do you mean? Women have rights with the whatever. And I think I can speak for most of us when I say that women genuinely just want simple equality equality in our income and in our salaries equality over our own bodies the right to bodily autonomy and genuinely just the right for me to open tiktok and not see some stupid dude yelling about how women deserve to be in the kitchen and women this and women that i'm just over it it's so unfortunate that in today's day and age, there are still people out there that think so insanely backwards and it absolutely infuriates me. And I'm sure it infuriates most of you guys, but there are still people out there that think like they're in the freaking 1800s and that these women should just be used as objects and all, they, all they're good for is just producing children and taking care of them and cooking all the food and doing all the cleaning and this and that. And it's just bull shit that's it so i guess yeah my point is that you know yeah we do have rights but not all of them and we're definitely not equal and if there's even one misogynist out there we never will be and that's straight up just the truth this past semester in college i took a women's history class and you wouldn't believe the type of stuff i was learning you guys and it really opened my eyes to just how discriminated against this gender has been throughout history and only till very recently have we had the rights that we have today and I just think that we need to recognize and understand that so that's basically why I wanted to make this pattern was just because I feel very passionately about it and I've learned so much about it recently and I just really want this platform to like be a safe place for people and women's rights is like very surface level I mean obviously there's so many other issues you know black people deserve rights black lives matter and trans rights and gay rights and there's so many other things but this is very surface level for me but yeah, that's basically it. All right, guys, I just finished this tapestry. I just finished the knotting. It looks so good. Oh, you can't even see all of it. There she is. <laughs> so I need to go ahead and just do like some finishing touches to it really quick. There is the back. It kind of looks like really good. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and um, finish up the end right here. I need to go ahead and cut off my strings. I'm gonna go ahead and snip these off. Okay, perfect. So that's good. And then, did I already cut this? No, I'm gonna take my background string and just cut the rest of that off. Gorgeous. Okay, so those are all my strings. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this because this is pissing me off, okay? It's kind of irritating. So I usually take a ruler and I will measure like this and use a pencil to mark where I should cut because, I don't know, I just want it to be even. And then I use these. These are wire cutters. They're like kind of big. I don't really know. I just stole these from my dad, sorry. And I kind of use them backwards. So like see this part, it kind of like goes down, but then this part is flat. So I use the flat part like this. And then I'm just gonna cut. So I basically like squeeze and then I rotate the dowel. Oh, and then I squeeze again and it just got right off. So there you go. And then I actually use a nail file to kind of file this down, but I don't have one on hand. So I will do that later. Um, but there is the top of it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off. So I wanted to record me, you know, doing the end, but I recorded it sideways, so my bad. Sometimes stuff like that happens, but thankfully it was just the end. It doesn't really matter. So here's like a little snippet of it. I'm sorry about the border. All right, so the bottom is all done. So that is what it looks like. I went ahead and I used 
the same colors as the shirts for like the ties I thought that would be kind of cool so the last step is just for me to go ahead and add the little um, like top part so I can actually hang it so I'm gonna just do that off camera real fast and then we'll be done all right you guys well here it is in all of its glory it is all done I added the little top right here um, I'll probably end up putting some clear nail polish on all these knots just to really make sure that it's not gonna go nowhere um, and then I will fix that because that's kind of ugly huh I will sand that down so it looks better but yeah this is all done I can't believe it's done I made this so quickly I feel like I started it like literally like I feel like less than a week ago and I already finished it like I really hungered down and I did it so I'm proud of myself for that and I think it looks really good and yeah all right guys So that was the whole video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, I had a lot of fun filming it and putting it together for you guys. So this is the final wall hanging. Here it is in all its glory. I think it looks so gorgeous and I just love it so much. Normally in these videos, I do sell whatever I make, but I decided that I'm going to go ahead and keep this one just because I really love it and it honestly just means a lot to me. So I'm going to be keeping this. Sorry. <laughs> but in other news, I do have some more products I'm going to be listing on my Etsy. So if you, you know, are sad you can't get this, I still have other items you can purchase. And I basically have a bunch of sets, like these little bracelets on all these cards. So the first set are these little cloud uh, bracelets right here. So they're these little bracelets with like the tiny heart bracelet. And they have these little cloud charms on them how cute and this is what the back looks like so i have pink and blue options and i have four pink ones and three blue ones available so these will be on my etsy i also have these bracelets so these are chevron bracelets and they have these little star charms and then this little colorful jewel charm in the center and i have five different color options so here's what the back looks like and here's the front. So I have a purple, I have like a lighter teal blue, I have a dark blue, and then I have a green and a pink one. So again, these will all be on my Etsy. Last but not least, I have these bracelets. Oh my God, these are probably my favorite ones. So these are a bordered chevron with a little gummy bear charm. So I only have three of these. So I have a blue one, a purple, and then a pink one and then this is the back so yeah um these are all going to be listed on my etsy at the time that you're seeing this video so if you're interested in purchasing any of these bracelets they will be on there for you guys thank you so much for watching this video and thank you guys so much for just giving me a platform where i can make videos like this and spread my ideas and just spread positivity and empowerment to other people and i really hope that this video kind of acts as like a catalyst or like kind of opens a door for me to allow me to do other types of videos similar to this and let me know if you guys want to see that but i love you guys thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next week bye